one of fantasy football's most trusted and reliable tight ends will be out of lineups for a while. Greg Olson told the media Sunday that he broke his right foot in the second quarter of the Carolina Panthers' Week 2 game against the Bills. While Ed Dixon took over as the Panthers' primary tight end with Olsen off the field, quarterback Cam Newton found himself leaning on Kelvin Benjamin and Devin Funches. That's unlikely to change in the foreseeable future. Olsen's injury will compel fantasy owners to make Benjamin a routine starter for a while. That's cool, but an uptick in targets doesn't guarantee big numbers. After week two, Benjamin has 19 career games with 8-plus targets, but has come through with 10-plus fantasy points just nine times, and all but one involved a touchdown. He remains a touchdown-dependent receiver, albeit one who doesn't have to compete with Olsen for targets any time soon. Benjamin had two reds and targets against Buffalo plus another big catch and run from the Bills 22 to help set up a field goal. Funches specifically posted his best numbers since a meaningless regular season finale in 2015. In that week's 17 game, a home blowout of the Buccaneers, Funches caught seven passes for 120 yards and a score. In every other game Hess ever played Hess had 71 yards or fewer and has been just as touchdown dependent as Benjamin. Worse yet, Funches has caught 60 of 130 targets, a 46.2% career catch rate. So if Hess going to truly replace Olsen on the field, Hess going to need a lot of targets because he won't catch much more than half of them. The Panthers' haven called on Cam to do much throwing through two games, but that's a change. In the next three weeks the Panthers will play the Saints, Patriots, and Lions three teams that will certainly put points on the board. It'll either take a grand defensive effort from a Carolina secondary that stained only Brian Hoyer and Tyra Taylor, or even more impressive rushing from the Panthers running backs to keep Newton from throwing a bunch. There should be some good weeks ahead for Benjamin and Funches, as well as rookie running back Christian McCaffrey, comma, certainly, as soon as week three against that sad Saints defense. But these two can't replace Olsen as your starting fantasy tight end. If you are actively looking to make a trade for a new tight end, well, good luck. The people who have Delaney Walker will want too much for him if not, Hess okay to target even with a tough matchup in week three. Same with those who have enjoyed Zachert's hot start to the season. Tyler Eifert will come in fairly cheap in a deal, but has one of the biggest injury risks at tight end and has gotten off to a miserable start. Instead, expect to go the streaming route and play the matchups from week to week until you find a good replacement. Jack Doyle vs. Cleveland, Benjamin Watson vs. Jacksonville in London, Jed Cook at Washington, Jason Witten at Arizona, Julius Thomas vs. the New York Jets and Jesse James at Chicago all have a chance to score in Week 3 and are owned in 68% or fewer leagues on CBS Sports. The severity of Olsen's fracture is known, but he said himself he's going to miss a lot of games. A typical broken bone puts a player on the shelf for 36 weeks. If there's additional damage, the Panthers could opt to put him on short-term injured reserve, meaning we would be without Olsen for at least eight weeks. Unless you have deep rosters, it's incredibly hard to stash him until week 12 at the Jets, if that ends up being the case. Expect Olsen to hit the waiver wire in a bunch of leagues, if the Panthers take that approach. It's not what you expected from a guy who has played 16 games for nine straight seasons.